tonight, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by Nitek. Here he is, the undisputed baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion. And man, does he have all the confidence and the self-belief that comes with that distinction. Yeah, when you're the baddest man on the planet, you are confident. You have to be a bit arrogant, a bit cocky. And that's what this guy has. He has been here on so many different occasions. This is like another night in the office, but you can never tell by the way that he prepares. When you watch him prepare, he treats every one of these defenses as, as if it's the first time he's fighting for a UFC championship. No, you put that well. He has had that patented intensity about him this week, trying to occupy some headspace in the challenger. Huge heavyweight title fight is upon us. Won't be long now, folks. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> the champion fighting out of the red corner ladies and gentlemen presenting the reigning defending usc heavyweight champion of the world dynamite the veteran herbert dean our referee for this one right all right, so here we are, Newark, New Jersey, the Prudential Center. You know, some people call this the armpit of America. I'm having a good time. I don't know. It's a beautiful place in a beautiful arena. And the fans here are ready to explode the moment something exciting happens. Nice block. Big right hook there by Champ. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, huge overhand there. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Trying to establish the jab early on here. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans. Not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. It's not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't ah. take so many upside the head. Somebody go to sleep. Just misses with that one. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Straight punch is true. These guys throwing early. Barely missed there. Just a slip there. Oh, there's the head kick. It's blocked. And there's a takedown attempt. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Power. Got it. Lance 
lands a nice leg kick. And across the midpoint here in our opening round. Beautiful punch lands. Whoa, what a head kick! Left hook, right hand. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Finds his range with the jab. Slips to avoid the right. And they're really starting to do a nice job stringing the shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body, his face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. Oh! Oh Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that pick. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Now some separation. Oh! Could be the beginning of the end here. Strong hook lands. Under a minute to go. And a cut has just opened up now on his forehead. Definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and starting to show itself. He loaded up there with that high kick. All right, there's the horn, the round is over. You see there's a cut above his eyes, sustained in that round, and now the cut man comes in. He'll have 60 seconds to try to close it up and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that, but when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is on the way. Lands a solid kick. Jab there by the champion. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Blood dripping now from the lip. Nice straight punch there. Misses with the right hand. Oh, oh he is hurting for certain. Nice block there. Back and forth we go. Nice job on the counter there. And this is really a tried and true counter striker who will try to use the over-aggressiveness of his opponents against them. And that's exactly what he did there to great effect. Straight right hand, no good. Beautiful shot lands to the leg. 
Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taking to this cut. Easier said than done, though. Busy in the clinch, lands that punch. Favorite strike. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Oh, he goes with the punch and he lands. We might get a stoppage here soon. Fighter trying to pass here. Uba gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Might be a submission attempt here, Chan. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Oh, look at that high-level grappling as the fighter reverses position and attains a dominant position. Nice transition. And he is back up to his feet. Trying to set up that counterattack. Just over two minutes to go in the round. To the body and it lands. Big shot lands for both guys. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, yeah, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight, but we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Big, big strikes continue to land. Right into side control. Inside control, you got a ton of options. He goes, knees on belly. He's postured up. Herbteen steps in. Holy smokes. What a fight. So no judges needed tonight as he pounds him out for the TKO. I'm hoping I get an invite to the after party. <laughs> We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 57 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite. So there he is, and still the baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. He successfully retains the title here tonight and does so by TKO. Nice embrace there with the head coach. This is a celebration that is going to continue all night long tonight. Not only did they defend the belt, but they get the style points they sought by 